Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Ooh, justice. Yeah, see, and this is kind of what it feels like, you know, like a celebration. Like, woohoo! I keep saying it in the readings, you guys. Oh, I might not even post this. <laughs> I feel like something that you've been waiting for is coming in. Okay. Um, yeah, your justice is rolling in. And you've been waiting for this a long time. Um, I don't know what this is, but you're going to be, you're going to be woohooing too. Okay. You are. Ooh, what is this? Somebody's in a lot of regret. Oh gosh. Someone's very emotional over you. What the heck? Um, I feel like somebody's getting their karma. You're getting your justice collective and someone else is getting their karma. Thinking about you, can't stop thinking about you, and a lot of regret. Um, I want to see what this is that's coming in for you. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles, because they know it too. What, are, what is this? Maybe this is somebody that you've been waiting to talk to you. You could have a new soulmate connection coming in. And they can feel it. You can feel something's coming for you, too. Yeah, ultimate wish fulfillment. So yeah, something's going to make you so happy, man. It could be uh, it, it's something that you've been wishing for, okay? I feel like it has a lot to do with your finances, maybe your business, because you've been putting in the hard work. Um, and you're, I feel like you're about to reap the rewards of that. And it could also be like possibly a house move, a location change. Like things are really starting to align for you now. Your blessings are starting to come in. Okay, you're getting your justice and this person is getting their karma. And they're hearing about, um, about things that are happening for you in your life. You're out here meeting new people as well. I'm also getting that this is somebody who had a decision to make between two feminine energies and um, they didn't like they didn't want to confront this. They didn't want to confront the things that they're guilty for doing to you. OK. I feel like other people now are, are calling them out on this, um, talking about what they did to an earth angel, possibly calling this person a big fool for turning their back on you because you've got, I feel like you're getting wish fulfillment here. Okay. Yeah, they're calling this person out on being sneaky. Okay, and keeping their back turned. They're telling this person that they were a fool, I feel, because they're missing out on the Ten of Pentacles. See, that's what you're creating here. I feel like you're getting wish fulfillment. Okay, you're getting more abundance now, some success, okay? Um, you have put in the hard work, so you deserve it, right? You haven't seen the rewards yet, but now they're starting to come in. Um, and this, this person, I feel like there's a lot of people, a lot of people that know what went down between you and this ex, okay? There are, um, there's like a whole group of people, right? I feel calling them a fool, Calling them, like, they're saying, what, dude, what were you thinking? Walking away from, from the collective. Now the collective is living wish fulfillment. The collective was an angel. Okay? What were you thinking, man? They're trying to, like, kind of, they're telling this person they should have gone in a long time ago to, to make you some kind of offer because now you're walking away. Yeah, you're closing out the cycle. And look at, look at how you're closing it out. Possibly in the public eye, very successful, balanced, um, confident. Okay, you've got a lot of opportunities around you, a lot of abundance. Spirit has put you on a pedestal. I feel like um, you're looking good, you're feeling good, um, and you're doing really well in your life, okay? Better than whoever else they chose over you, I'm sure. Because this person has regrets, 
for making the decision that they did to turn their back on you for other people, okay? Um, and now there's a whole group of people that knows what happened between you and in this connection. And uh, they're all kind of like yelling at this person, giving them a really hard time, calling them out on their BS, you know? Basically calling this person an idiot for how they treated you, okay? And you've shown nothing but grace in all of this. Like you have been... You haven't said anything to anybody. You've been very silent through all of this. Um, you didn't seek any kind of revenge. You didn't try to get, you know, um, you didn't try to retaliate in any way, okay? Um, you didn't say anything. I feel like you accepted this person's decision, and you started to work on the things that you could control, okay? Like your abundance, your job, your business, all right, and now it's booming. Now you're a huge success and it's in the spotlight somehow. A lot of abundance, a lot of stability, and you're leaving this person behind. Um, yeah, and now they're kicking themselves, and other people are like, dude, you were such a fool. Yeah, now they want to choose you. Okay, now they want to be on the path that you're on. All right, I feel like this person is about to message you. I'm just seeing all of these birds. I keep picking up on them. Um, I'm getting a lot of signs and synchronicities about uh, crows, blackbirds, ravens. Um, so I feel like there's messages that are about to come, to come in for you, okay? Yeah, this person, look, they were toxic. They were juggling you. Um, they were acting a fool. Everybody's calling them out on their toxic ways, okay? This was somebody who could possibly be very arrogant, okay? I feel like with the Five of Swords out here, this person sabotaged you. Um, I feel like they just wanted to see you hurting over them. They're very arrogant. They're, uh, they're all up in their ego. And they, they, I, they, I've been getting this controlling energy off of this person. Everybody in their group is calling them out on this. Okay? Everyone in their group is reminding them of how they treated an earth angel. This person could also be watching a lot of tarot card readings and they don't like what they're hearing because they're hearing that they, they walked away from someone extremely successful and abundant. Yeah, and you're leaving them behind. Now you don't want them. I feel like now you're, you're cutting them out. Okay? And they don't like that feeling, especially since they've, you know, they're having an ego death here. They're having an ego death, and other people are, like, going up against them now, turning on this person, right? Yep, now you don't want to have anything to do with them, and now they want to take action towards you, okay? So this is like runner, chaser, chaser, runner, you know, and I feel like you just, honestly, you just want to move on with your life. You want to live a life of peace, and um, peace and wish fulfillment. And I feel like you, you just don't want this person back. You can feel that they're about to make their approach. You can feel that they're about to come back in. They're tapping on this blade, getting ready to um, talk, you know, trying to figure out what it is that they're going to say, okay, after, after backstabbing you and betraying you so much, right? And I feel like you just, um, you're done with this person. You're done with the cycle. You're, you've outgrown this, okay? This has been going on for far too long, okay? This could have been, spanned years because this person was too egotistical to come forward and do the right thing. They, they may have even been hoping that you would chase after them, but the empress doesn't chase. Look, yeah, they turned their back on an empress, you know, and here's the thing, they were wrong, and people are telling them that they're wrong, but in King of Swords energy, this is somebody who never wants to admit that they were wrong about anything, okay? 
they're having a really hard time with this. They're jealous. They're upset. They're uh, maybe very emotional. Okay. They're getting a lot of flack from everybody that they know because of how they treated you and the decisions that they made. I feel like this person is kind of being made to feel like a clown. And this is like one of, you know, this is one of the most egotistical kings in the deck. Okay. I think it is the most egotistical king in the deck. Yeah. Hermit energy. They, I feel like nobody wants to be around him anymore. I feel like people are so disgusted with this person and their ego. You know, they're disgusted with how they treated you. Because if, especially if you're, if you have a platform in the public eye, if you're in the public eye somehow, all of these people in this group can see how far you've come. They can see where it is that you're going and they can see how, um, how blessed you are, how abundant you are, how successful you are. You know, these people also are realizing you were innocent in this, in Earth Angel energy. You didn't do anything wrong to this person, but I feel like they just wanted to control you. Why people think that they can use other people for their own entertainment? It, I, I, I just, I'm just disgusted by some of these people out here who have hurt the collective, okay? Because they've done it for no reason. It was unprovoked, okay? And, um, yeah, and I feel like you're, you know, you, you're just making a decision. You, you have totally outgrown this person. Now you're an emperor, and they're over here as just the king of swords, somebody who really all they had was their ego, okay? Yeah, and this is coming to an end. You're having a new beginning, and you're about to get an emperor who's going to match your energy. Okay, they're coming in now, and it's going to be very, very passionate. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're in Ten of Pentacles. You're in Ten of Cups. That's um, happiness, wish fulfillment, financial abundance, a lot of um, success, okay? Growing something that's like going to turn into generational wealth. You've got new love coming in that's going to be an emperor to the empress. This is a power couple. You're going to be able to build an empire with this new person. Okay? This is somebody who could also be in the public eye. Very celebrated in their community. Okay? People look up to this person. They've got their act together. They've been through a battle. They've learned their lessons and they're having a victory in life. And this person's going to want to just choose you. I'm telling you, you are being blessed. You, I mean, this is, it's kind of crazy. You've got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor to the Empress. <laughs> Earth Angel Energy, okay? This is beautiful for you. And this person in your past, you know what? They can keep their ego. They can keep it. You've got everything else. You've got all the good stuff. They can, they can hold on to their ego. It's not getting them anywhere but alone. You know, um, their friends and family, I feel, are just disgusted with this person and their ego. Uh, they're disgusted with their toxicity, their jealousy, and their games. So this person, they're, it's starting to get to the point where they're losing friends. They're losing their ego. They're in the Two of Pentacles energy. This person could be absolutely broke, okay, waiting for their ships to come in, but their ships aren't coming in. Their opportunities are being blocked. So there's a lot of obstacles and blockages in this person's life as far as having anything new come in for them. You know, I mean, I feel like this person, yeah, look at all the, they've got financial burdens, they, they could be in bad health as well. They've got a lot of body aches. I keep picking up on some masculine who's got, like, neck pain, back pain, okay? 
people are just now they're just going to be standing back and watching this person struggle I, I feel like their friends aren't going to be helping them anymore or listening to them anymore they're they're being called out they are under major judgment for the things that they've done to you and they're going to have to continue to carry these burdens spirits like no don't drop those burdens we want to see you carry them okay for what you did to a light worker an earth angel and i feel like you are going to be moving on to possibly even for some of you some stardom being in the public eye delivering messages for the divine to help other people inspire other people uh, people are loving what you're doing too you're very intuitive very tapped into the divine you've got a lot of hidden knowledge okay that's helping so many people possibly worldwide because um, I'm seeing you on the internet here maybe on your own platform right and this person so they're gonna have to watch then if you're in the public eye this person they're gonna have to continue to carry this heavy weight the burdens of what they've done okay spirit wants them I feel like they're getting karma spirit wants them to um, carry the weight and the guilt of the things that they've done to you okay um, but but while they do that they've got to watch you succeed be happy be loved by an emperor somebody who knows how to love and have this passionate new beginning so really their burdens have just started their karma has only just begun okay because they're gonna be watching you live this beautiful life without them knowing that now you don't want them okay and they could have they could have been at your side to grow all of this but the, but they missed out they missed out and and not only did they lose you and all of these blessings that went along with you but um but they're also losing friends and credibility okay in their group all right so what else can you show me yeah you're leaving this person behind you could be making a house move okay you're releasing this connection you're done you're closing out a cycle here yep and you're moving on to calmer waters yeah and as you go you get all of these blessings this is money and love money and love coming in i am telling you so spirits bringing it in it could be it could have felt like it was coming in really slow okay um but now everything is aligned for you so all of all of this is going to open up for you and this person from your past they're going to have to watch you be happy happy okay they're going to have to watch you be happy yes i feel like some of you still need to like purge like um release okay release this this person from your past because this new stuff is coming in um you need to make space for this new stuff to come in you need to not bring the baggage into this new relationship with this new emperor so spirit may you may need to release some things okay but i see you moving on and straight into your happiness and this person they're going to have to watch they're going to have to suffer their karma okay and they're going to have to take a look at themselves and change a few things about themselves okay but yeah, they're going to be carrying this burden for a long time while they watch you be happy. Um, let me call out some signs. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Virgo, a Libra, Gemini, Gemini, Aquarius. I don't know why it's Gemini. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <laughs> Possibly a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Gemini. You could be... Uh, a Libra, you could be a Taurus, Aries, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I've got Aquarius out here as well. 
Yeah, so anyway, um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Congratulations for whoever this is resonating with, okay? Um, because your life is, I'm telling you, you're going to be reaching the happiest time of your life. This is about to be the happiest time of your life, even though you may not believe that. It is true. This is all coming. It's all coming for you. 